Is the iPhone 11 a game changer and should you buy it? iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Max, iPhone 11 Min, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone Super Pro. So many new iPhones announced today when Tim Cook walked onto the Steve Jobs Theatre in Cupertino in places far sunnier than here. So the iPhone 11, the new one, the Pro, the normal one, the Max, the, what should you get? What should you give your hard earned cash for to Apple? Let's really quickly take a look at the specs for the iPhone 11 first and we'll take a look at the iPhone Pro. So iPhone 11 comes in a whole bunch of different colors. How awesome is that? Here's the big thing on the changes in the camera. If you look at the back of the iPhone or the front of the iPhone, depending on what way you think of these things, that you've got a bunch of different cameras. There's a substantial difference between the Pro and the normal iPhone 11, but we're talking about the iPhone 11 here. So you've got two cameras, you've got the kind of the normal lens as it were, and then you've got an ultra wide lens, which means you're gonna see a lot more of the picture. Here's the most amazing thing ever. This is just unbelievable. This is one of the biggest things about the iPhone 11. It's got an all day battery. Can you imagine that? A device that works all day. It'll play 17 hours of video from beginning to end. You could watch loads of these YouTube videos of mine for 17 hours and then the phone would die and you'd be sad. 17 hours, it's crazy, isn't it? A device that doesn't need to be charged. Well, it does need to be charged every day. Yeah, I wonder will there ever be phones where you wouldn't have to charge them like every day. Maybe you could charge them like once a week. Uh, Nokia, yeah, anyway. Rest of the specs, it's got an LCD 6.1 inch liquid retina display. Does that not blow your mind? Liquid retina, <sighs> amazing. It's water resistant for the depth of two meters and it'll stay water resistant in two meters for 30 minutes. After that, the phone leaks and you die and it all gets very sad and expensive. And finally, storage on the iPhone 11 is 64, 128 and a whopping 256 gigs for your $699. Now let's take a look at the iPhone 11 Pro specs. This thing only comes in four colors for your $1,000 plus. Four colors is all you get. Apple, seriously, we want more colors. No, we don't. The big change here between the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro is the cameras. You get three cameras. Not one, not two, but three cameras. What are those three cameras and what use will they be to you? Well, you get the regular camera, which is 26 millimeter, 1.8 aperture. Then you get the ultra wide camera, which is about 13 millimeters, it's 2.4 aperture. And then the third camera that you get is a 52 millimeter telephoto slash portrait lens. So that's the three cameras, the normal, the ultra wide, and the really zoomed in telephoto. Hi. Besides the cameras, you also get, I get this again, an all day battery life with the iPhone Pro. The iPhone 11 Pro has an all day battery life. It will do 18 hours of video back to back. Yeah, remember those Nokia phones that you never had to charge ever. Mm. The display on the iPhone Pro is a 5.8 or a 6.5 inch OLED display. But besides that, Apple have given some cool words to put on this. It's a Super Retina XDR. That's also in there as well, which are you not more impressed now? Okay, I'm annoying. It's water resistant for four meters, so you can double the depth of the iPhone Pro when you're diving. And then it's water resistant for 30 minutes after that, whatever happens. And then it comes in 64, 256 and 512 gigs for your thousand plus dollars. That's the specs on these two brand new phones. There is no denying the technology that's in here is insane. Both the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro have a thing called night mode, which is coming soon, which basically allows you to take a shot that looks like this and it converts it into this, which is the high res download from Apple. Uh, thanks, Tim, but it's still kind of noisy. Personally, I wouldn't publish a photograph like that online. It's it just does, doesn't look great. It's still kind of dark and noisy. And there's, yeah, I mean, let me know in the comments. Would you put this online? Would you put this on your gram? I wouldn't. I guess getting into the specifics, the iPhone Pro 11, iPhone 11 Pro is the biggie. And a couple of things that are in that is this, this, this deep fusion technology. And what this deep fusion technology does, it utilizes the robots that tried to kill Sarah Connor. When you take a picture with the iPhone Pro using this deep fusion thing, what it does, it takes a bunch of photographs before you press the shutter button. I don't know how it does that. And then when you press the shutter button, it takes a long exposure and then the Skynet robots pull apart all of these photos that you've made. And then it, about a second later, it spits out uh, an incredibly detailed photograph. 
crazy. It's called Deep Fusion. But the iPhone Pro, is it a game changer? Should you really buy it? Well. The one thing that has blown me away with the iPhone 11 Pro is not something that Apple has done. It's something that Filmic Pro have done. Filmic Pro is this app that you can buy and you can download on your iPhone. It's an incredible app. It allows you to record at higher bit rates. It does loads of wonderful stuff. And it's if you're into any kind of mobile filmmaking, then you really have to have Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro, using all of the three cameras, allow you, when they release this update later on the year, Filmic Pro will allow you to record from two out of the three different cameras at the same time. So you can get your wide shot, you can get your cropped in shot, and you can do that either on the front facing or the rear facing camera. You can split the two. It is insane. That is just so, 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 so good. And for those of you who love to make movies, just with your phone, that is the real game changer. This is a huge, huge, huge big deal. I'm not sure there's enough in there to warrant the pro factor. Yes, you've got more storage. Yes, you've got the, the, the kind of the three cameras. You've got that other option, the normal, the wide, the telephoto, which if you're into mobile photography, if you're into mobile filmmaking, this is the camera for you. If you just kind of want the latest and greatest iPhone, this is the camera for you. If you just want a new phone and you're taking pictures of the dog, the cat, your kids, you don't really care about anything else like that, you know, with portrait modes or two different angles. Yeah, I mean, this is not the phone for you. Maybe the 11 is, and obviously all the other older iPhones are gonna come down in price now as well. So it's a kind of a win-win situation. I'm not sure though the Pro is, is gonna be for everybody, unless you specifically go, yes, I will use those three camera angles. Yes, I will get Filmic Pro. Maybe you have it already. Yep, 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 yep. I will be diving to four meters for 30 minutes or less. And yeah. Other than that though, the iPhone Pro, I think is a little bit underwhelming. You know, iPhones really are the most used camera in the world. I'm not sure how they can make it better without changing the sensor and bringing in bigger and better sensors because there's only so much detail and data they can capture. Even though the Skynet robots will probably do a good job of making things a little bit better, but I'm not sure the iPhone Pro is, is, is a game changer at all. Which iPhone 11 will I buy? Well, this is my iPhone XS. If I sell this for a good price, then I may well look at the iPhone Pro simply because I love mobile photography. I'm not a huge fan of making movies on the iPhone. I think it's good, but... It's not good enough for me, although if you've seen some of the stuff that's been made on the iPhones over the years, who am I to moan? So for the kind of the creativity side of it, the iPhone Pro is a huge one for me, but uh, for everybody else, I think like it's, eh, maybe I got an iPhone 11 or one of those old Nokia phones that you only have to charge once every four months or something. My name is Vic Barry. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please don't go away. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop me a comment. I'd love to know where you guys are at. I'm in Ireland. Where are you? We'll see you in the next episode of the vlog. And until then, don't stop fighting for yourself. Then the, the, then the, then the, th the, 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 the